Okay, I'd like to thank the organizers for giving us the opportunity to talk about uh, DEFA, uh, Cyprus Gas, uh, and uh, our current plans. Uh, we've heard about frameworks, discussions about the future, uh, visions, uh, next steps, and so forth. Uh, we'd like to think that we are now going to talk a little bit about the present. And uh, the Minister uh, already talked about uh, the DEFA, uh, the Cyprus LNG import, uh, uh, import uh, let's say, project. And uh, so we look at what the current status is. Uh, there's no point hiding it, the reality. This is the fourth attempt uh, that Cyprus is trying to bring gas in Cyprus to bring LNG. Uh, we have heard about the importance of recognizing the past, understanding the situations, understanding the environment through a lot of careful uh, analysis and a lot of diligence. Uh, we have come up with a strategy which has been agreed, which uh, we think safeguards the interests and the vision of uh, introducing natural gas as an alternative uh, fuel source to the island. We still remain an isolated market. There's dependency of liquid fuels for power generation. Actually, uh, it's exclusively owned. We have three main conventional power plants uh, owned by the Electricity Authority of Cyprus at uh, roughly 15,500 uh, 15, megawatts. They have uh, dual capacity, which is liquid fuels, natural gas uh, generation capacity of around 830 megawatts at Vasiti Course. We have increasing penetration of solar and wind, but not significantly uh, enough to make uh, an impact. Uh, then uh, we have the natural gas uh, market regulation under SERA, the law is harmonized with the EU directive, and through exploration as to what else we could do with the framework and what are the constraints that we need to move and maneuver with. We have identified that we can receive derogations that might uh, apply, let's say, uh, due to the isolation and emergent, uh, emergent uh, market, which would lead to a possible monopolistic operation of the facilities for, for uh, a period of time. So, the conclusion of all this work and all this investigation and uh, studies and, and uh, preparatory work is uh, our uh, project. The project is in the Vasiligos uh, area. It involves uh, an acquisition of an FSRU, a construction of a jetty for the FSRU where the FSRU will be birthed, uh, mooring equipment, a construction of the jetty board, uh, gas pipeline and loading arms, onshore gas pipeline, above ground installation, and additionally a construction of pipeline storage arrays that will be heard, uh, used as a natural gas buffer in case, uh, in, in the in the case or in the event that uh, we need to have a switching from natural gas to liquid fuels, and uh, for example, adverse uh, weather conditions and so forth. The project uh, secured the environmental licensing. Uh, this actually is part of the. Uh, Many years ago, when uh, it the, the, was the initial plans of the Republic to, and thoughts to build an LNG facility for export, the, a lot of the work was done for the jetty, uh, for the area, and that uh, it was already planned to have a jetty in the area, so a lot of the environmental work had been done. We built on that, we secured environmental licensing. We got all the other uh, package of information applied to the European Union and, and, let's say, managed to secure through the Connecting Europe facility a grant of 40% uh, of eligible capital expenses with a cap of 100 million euros. This actually makes a big impact also in the viability of the project. We have since created a DIFA. A DIFA is the, hydrocarbon, the natural gas regasification infrastructure company. And we have found very uh, warm reception from uh, the European Investment Bank, EBRD, Cyprus financial institutions, all wanting to somehow participate with very favorable terms in the financing round uh, for this project. 
The government of Cyprus has also given a 30% chance uh, or a 30, an option of about 30% um, uh, equity in Etifa that the electricity authority has, uh, we're in discussions about them uh, taking. So, moving fast on, because I have that clicking clock. So, we have uh, a minister announced that on the 5th of October we announced the tender. The objective is to award by the end of Q1 uh, 2019 uh, with a target date completion of the end of November 2020. We do not dictate or choose the end date. Uh, the end date is, uh, let's say, dictated by uh, obligations of the Republic of Cyprus. As I said, the scope actually includes both the supply of the vessel, the ship, uh, the marine and uh, civil works, and also the operations and maintenance of up to 20 years. Uh, so the minister outlined himself that basically CAPEX is estimated around 300 million euro and OPEX for the 20 year period about 200 million euro. Following that, uh, and as uh, we are uh, looking or in parallel with the tender process, we are looking at uh, announcing an expression of interest for the LNG supply uh, within, uh, let's say, Q4 2018. Uh, we will be receiving interest for uh, MSAs, master sales agreements, that will allow us to go and purchase uh, LNG on the spot market. And also, let's say, uh, receive interest for an SPA for a, a longer term agreement, which will be in a different, uh, in a different phase. Uh, that will be a different tender that will follow after we have awarded the infrastructure job because the selection, for example, of the vessel de defines the logistics and how it has an impact on the actual price that will be offered on the long term for the Republic. In Q4 as well, we will uh, hold another tender for owners and engineers, so we will get, let's say, the technical engineering and professional support not from legal and financial, but let's say from actually uh, those that can help us monitor that the job that is being executed meets the standards and the requirements that we need. And we will also hold soon an open season project uh, process where we will determine all the major end users and natural gas quantities, let's say, special allocations and so forth per buyer. And we already have uh, three uh, ITPs, independent power producers, that have, been, that have, have come in contact, let's say, with uh, DEFA, expressing their interest, and we are in discussion with them to proceed. Looking at the future, uh, we have, uh, we, we heard about Cyprus having, being a hub and so forth. Bunkering is a, is a major uh, such potential. Bunkering is basically for supplying vessels that will shift uh, from liquid fuels to natural gas for, uh, as an energy source. Uh, and this will be partly, well, this will be served by the infrastructure of Vasiligos that, that the TIFA will be building. We have interests for, uh, from industry to use uh, gas. We have also studies uh, for road transportation and so forth. There's a big consortium of about 15 organizations, government uh, and private, that basically uh, looks at the penetration of natural gas in the, in the increased use of natural gas in Cyprus that has started about a year ago and is continuing. Finally, we have the natural gas development uh, pipeline, the pipeline that will serve the IPPs. Uh, and uh, this is the first phase, so the first phase will be to serve, let's say, go to the Kelia for the potential, uh, let's say, uh, supply of gas to power generation in the Kelia, and also serve the other license source that have the opportunity. And I think with that, I have finished. <laughs>